Hi there, this is a demo of the finished solution for the Tech Jobs console assignment for uh, the LC101 Java track. So um, in the future, we wanna put the solutions uh, or working versions of them out there for you to use in demo version, but it's uh, not really possible to do that with a console application without actually giving you the code. So again, we just uh, we wanna avoid that. So we're just gonna demo it here in this video and give you a chance to see um, just how the application should work when you are done. So I'm going to go ahead and run the tech jobs class. And that'll run the application in the console window here in IntelliJ. All right, make it a little bit bigger here. So uh, let's go ahead and just look at uh, the list functionality first. So I can search the data and I can just list various columns or, uh, or, or all of the jobs within the data. So for the list functionality, let's go ahead and list all the jobs. So I'm gonna hit zero, and that spit out what appeared to be, it's hard to say unless you actually went back and counted them all, but a lot of data just printed out to the console. And notice that each one has this just nice formatting, so it's nice and readable, and it has all of the data fields, position type, name, employer, location, and core competency. Okay, let's go ahead and list an individual column. So when we list one of these individual columns, one through four, we're going to get, instead of a full listing of uh, of the job we're going to get a list of just the values the unique values within that column so if we say list by location we get a list of all the different location values within that column in the data set and similarly if we list by skill we see a list of all the different skills in the data set okay so that's the list functionality you can list all the jobs in which case you get full listings or you can list the values within specific columns. Let's go ahead and look at the search functionality. So when I'm searching by a given column, that's going to look for um, data such that that column matches my search term, at least in, in part. So let's look for, say, um, all jobs that have a skill of uh, that contains Java. Okay, so notice here under the core competency, which is the skill field, we have um, a lot of jobs that list Java. We also have jobs that list JavaScript. The way the search should work is that it matches for um, you know, containment of your search term within the listing there, within the column. Okay, so that search the skill column for strings that contained the word Java and was case insensitive. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with Ruby. I'm gonna search for skills with jobs with skill Ruby. And notice there I've got three results, these three job listings, right? And each of them have Ruby listed in as part of the core competency. And again, this is case insensitive. Let me go ahead and search all of the columns for Ruby and see what happens there. Notice we had three results when we searched the skill column. If I search all the columns, I actually get four results because there is one job in particular right here, this last one that lists Ruby in the name of the job, but not in the skill, okay? So just something to be aware of when you're searching across all the columns, you should indeed have uh, situations like this where you have um, more results than if you search just one of the columns. And then finally, your search should print a nice message if there are no results in the search. So let's go ahead and search for jobs in a location that does not exist, such as Denver and we get a nice no results message. So this is how your application should work when it's finished. And uh, just, just to make note that you should refer to the assignment details for, for full details on doing this. Don't think of this video as by any means a substitute for anything that's in there. This is just to give you an idea of the look and feel and the behaviors of how your program should exist. All right, good luck on this assignment and happy coding.